Hello, my beautiful people. Welcome back. I am so excited to be here with you all tonight. Uh, the last pour we did was Wild Pearls. It was that beautiful diptych on the 12 by 16s with the wildflower pour on top of it. And it turned out so pretty. And I have a whole bunch of ideas bouncing off of that. So that's what we're going to play with tonight. Tonight we are going to be playing with three 12 by 12s. So we're going to be doing a triptych tonight. These are Artist Loft gallery wrap canvases. I have taped the back, put my push pins in, and I have painted my sides and edges with my base coat sort of color. Um, so I'm excited about this one and I have a plan of where I want to do the wildflowers and how I want it to look. So let's get those out of the way and I will show you the colors that we're working with. Um, we're going to be doing a sandwich pour, but kind of a darker sandwich pour for the base coats of those. And for that sandwich pour, we're going to use this drips that I have, this tub of drips, this is from like the last five or six or eight or ten pours. Um, still in pretty good shape though, minus the occasional bubble. So we're going to be using this color, which is kind of like a turquoise with a gold in it. Really, really pretty stuff. Um, I also have this one, which is a shade or so lighter with a little bit more silvery tone to it. And I have some Pevio Studios Iridescent Precious Gold which is left over from that Wild Pearls pour. And I also have some Decoart Americana Decor Metallics in Pearl to use. So that's what we're going to do the sandwich pour base coat part on. And then let me show you what we're going to be using for the wildflower. Because they're really, really pretty. These are the most beautiful pigs, I think. So we have first Sapphire, which is just gorgeous. And it dries just like this, this beautiful shimmery metallic blue which is so pretty. My pouring medium tonight is Liquitex Heavy Gel Gloss with Floetrol and a little bit of water. And I mix that all up separately and then I mix my piggies according to my Tipsy Piggy recipe which is to disperse the pigments in a little bit of alcohol, isopropyl alcohol. And then once the pouring medium was ready I poured the pouring medium into the alcohol pigment mixture and then I stirred it up and here we are. And um, I think the ratio for the pouring medium is probably 75 25 so so that's going to come out looking more like the this that okay yeah it's going to look just like that when it's done Groovy. so that's the sapphire then we're also using taffy which has got to be one of the most beautiful colors just ever <laughs> a little lighter with the flow trial in it but it will dry like this and it's going to be so pretty that's the taffy Oop. and there's something in my taffy start your paint a lot Mix it up with your stick. You'll see any bumps or lumps or anything like that. So. Okay, so that's the taffy. And I think those two together are just amazing and really, really beautiful. So, And then we also have brulee, which is one of my favorite colors ever. I love this. I love that pearly pinkish shift on there. Just gorgeous. Beautiful, beautiful stuff. Amazing color. And it dries. It's just so pretty. Okay. <laughs> we also have ore. And I have combined it with the last little bit of Zeus that was in this pouch, my original sample pack. And uh, I think it's really, really pretty. Okay, so there's our Zeus and ore combination. Beautiful. Okay, and then the last but not least, one of my new favorites, this is Prenite. Absolutely gorgeous from this little piggy. Gorgeous, minty, sage sort of green. Very, very pretty beautiful with a gorgeous shimmer on there. I really like this one a lot. So these are the colors that are going to be in our split cup for the wildflower to go on top of that base. So let's start. We're going to do the base first. So we'll just leave those over there. We're going to set up those cups first. So I'm going to use for a 12 by 12, you only need about five and a half ounces of paint. These are seven ounce cups. So I'm going to do three of those, one on each of them as a sandwich pour. And we're gonna start the sandwich, the bread part is actually gonna be this cup of the drips. So we're gonna pour a thicker layer of the, that color, beautiful metallic -y turquoise color. In each of these. Then we're gonna come in with a little bit of that pearl and we're just gonna drizzle it on top. And I do want the base darker 
rather than lighter. I want those light, bright colors to really pop and shine against this darker one. We're gonna use some of our gold, that pretty iridescent precious gold. Okay, and now we're gonna go back to that turquoise blue. and sandwich those colors in between. I think we're gonna do one more layer. First the pearl. Flip those first, and then we will do them one at a time. Put a little bit of gold down to flip into. Okay, so we're just going to do these one at a time, and then we'll pour. We'll layer out our split cup. Ready, darling? Yes, my love. Here you go. All right, so there's one. There's two. Ready, huh? Mm -hmm. okay. Here's three. Okay. So we'll just let those sit for a minute. And now we'll layer our split cup. And I know what order I want to layer this in because I know what I want where. So I want the prenite to be one of the most prominent colors, so I'm going to put that on this edge over here. It's a nice looking cup you got there. Thank you. I love this cup. Thank you, my love. <laughs> this is a 10 ounce split cup from um, Acrylic Pouring Tools, Tracy Reed Designs. She and her lovely husband, Chris, sent this one to me. This one's the 10 ounce one with the handle, and they put my name on it, which is awesome. You can find all of their acrylic pouring tools at acrylicpouringtools.com. And I specifically love how they put the size on there on the cups. The other one I have is a 22 ounce cup and I never have to wonder or try to remember. It's awesome. So, acrylicpouringtools.com. Thank you so much, Tracy and Chris. Okay, so we have our pernite in. And then I want the Zeus and Ore. This little piggy Zeus and Ore in that chamber on the side. center so I do want that to show up and pop and it will in the center chamber okay now we're going to use the taffy next to the pearl next to the relay sorry I'm going to put the sapphire on the other end so the two most prominent colors should be the pronite and the sapphire and the brulee after that, and then the Zeus or mixture and the taffy are going to be sort of background players. Okay. okay. Also because I like flip cups. So. <laughs> okay. Are you ready, husband of awesomeness? I lost that okay. I am. Here we go. I'm just going to break the seal, and then we're going to lip it a little bit. That's pretty cool. All right, so there's one. Let's get our next one out. 
Ready, Donna? Mm -hmm. There you go. That's pretty. Okay, and number two. Get back over here. Three. Yep. Mm -hmm. right. Cool. Let's take these off. And then we'll give these all a torch. First, back a little bit. Hey, this is pretty. I like this. I like that there's not too much white, and there's also solid parts that are darker. Some pretty cells in here. This should be enough paint for this, so we don't really need a flow extender. Go over the edge. This way, and off this edge. Now, after we get all of the base coats tilted out and I do the wildflower pour, I don't actually want to tilt it anymore. So what I'm doing right now is stretching it out and fixing the composition to be where I want it to be, making sure there's not too much paint anywhere since I'm not going to tilt it again after I do the wildflower. I'm going to take a little bit off of the bottom. Get all your tilting done? Yeah, get all your tilting done before you do the wildflower. I mean, the first few that we did, I did tilt it after I poured the wildflower, and while I liked it and it was very pretty, I prefer the uniformity of it after we've stopped tilting it once the wildflower's on there. So that one's pretty pretty. I like that. And I like the white coming through the pearl. All right. Let's see. Let's Come back and get this corner so I don't have to worry about it. Seven ounces is plenty for a five, for a 12 by 12, you only really need five and a half. So we've given ourselves some insurance and some room to play. So we get to choose the composition that we want instead of being stuck with the composition because we didn't have enough paint on there. We only had exactly enough. Float down, stretch out, over the edge. And take that. This is really pretty. I like that line of the white, the mm. pearl. Yeah. Okay. So that's looking good. Last one. Okay. Ooh, that's a pretty sales on this one. Let's go over this little corner on the bottom first. Get it over. And come back towards the middle. Take it over this corner. Down. Ooh, those are pretty lines. Mm -hmm. 
first. Paint back to the center. So we didn't even need a base coat. <laughs> And again, I'm tilting these a lot to get the extra paint off so that once the wildflower is on there, we don't have to tilt it anymore. But that's looking pretty good. Let's see something right here. not going to matter because that's probably going to be where the wildflower is. Alright, so now let's look at these and see how they all work together and decide which sides we want to put the wildflower on and then I'll tell you what it is that I want to do design wise. Okay, so looking at these I see this pretty line this way with some horizontal lines on these and this has some very pretty horizontal lines also and this has a line too but it's going vertically so we're going to turn this one so that all of these have this sort of horizontal part going along with it. Now what I want to do is I want to do a wildflower pour connecting these two, so like on this corner, and one connecting these two on this corner, and then I might do a small one here and then a small one on each corner as well. But I'm going to turn them around because I want to do the wildflower on this side, the one that's connecting the three of them, so I leave that pretty white line intact. So we're going to move them pretty close to each other. Okay. Okay. I'm excited about this. We're going to start over here and kind of go in this direction. Are you ready, husband of awesomeness? Yes, my love. Okay, we're going to actually start off the edge of the canvas. And we're going to get the paint going. Here we go. Okay, that's pretty, I like it. That's beautiful in there. Okay, we're gonna go one more over here. And this one I might kind of go more leaning that way. Ready, darling? Mm -hmm. Here we go. Okay. I like it, that's cute. Okay, can we, can you see over here? Mm -hmm. Okay, so I'm gonna do one small one over here on the corner. Ready? Mm -hmm. Here we go. Okay, and I'm gonna do one more small one like over here. Can you see this part or no? Mm -hmm. Okay, ready? Mm -hmm. I think we need one more over there. No, that'd be too symmetrical. I think so. What about like over here? No, like that's got enough here. interest there already, I believe. I could be wrong. I also kind of want to cover that up. I think I do want one there. Okay. Alright, so I'm just going to pull that one towards me and turn it around. And then we'll move all three of them. Okay. So we're going to do like a little one in here. Copy. Are you ready, husband of awesomeness? Yes, ma'am. You get Here. <laughs> that goes like that. This one goes this. Mm. Yeah, that's really cool. 
awesome. I'm happy. Okay, so let's look at this for a second. This is really cool. I'm really happy about this one. Okay. <laughs> Use my Sarah Max Smack stick to point out all the cool stuff. All right. First of all, let's look in here where we see that beautiful sapphire and then the taffy and then the brulee and then the prenite and the Zeus ore. This is all really, really pretty together. And I like this one too. I like these loops and I love this part in here. And I just really love it against that turquoisey metallic gold kind of we have. This one turned out really, really pretty. This one turned out really, really cool. I love this like loop that we're getting in there with these fatter parts is really cool. And I like this little one too. So the thing that I think I've, I've figured out about the wildflower is to try not to get really, really crazy with it because even just doing it very simply itself is very pretty and is gonna look nice when it starts to stretch a little bit. So this is cool though. I'm loving this kind of oceany background almost like corals <laughs> hey that's really cool i'm very very happy with these my wildflower piggy triplets thank you so much for hanging out with us today i'll show you when it's dry I also wanted to show you the dried results from our wild coral, the wildflower pour that we did, the, the triple, the triptych, <laughs> which came out really, really cool. I really love this. Uh, can you see that bling on there, HOA? Yep. How it's like the piggies are yep. just sparkling and magical. This is so cool, like especially on this one where we've got that beautiful prenite and the brulee and the, the Zeus with the ore in it. Really, really cool. And of course our sapphire and the taffy. Maybe you can see it blinging better on this one. That's just, it's so cool to me. So I'm really, really happy with how these came out. I, this was a lot of fun. I really like that wildflower technique. It's a lot of versatility. It's actually very freeing because it's not a lot of whole crazy rules. And I, I have some more ideas. This one really, really pretty over here with the, like, the wavy bits. So I'm really happy with this. I love the way it came out. It dried beautifully. This is using that uh, pouring medium that I've used for the last few paintings, which is the Golden's Heavy Gel Gloss mixed with Floetrol. Super, super shiny. Just gorgeous. Really, really fun stuff. So this was our Wild Coral Triptych. Okay.